Good morning Year 1. For today's lesson we are finding number bonds. So as a quick reminder, number bonds are the different parts of a number that add together to make a whole. Here we've been given some different number bonds and I would like you to circle the different number bonds to 10. Pause the video now and have a go. So I'm now going to go through the answers. 6 and 3 equals 9, so not a number bond to 10. 2 and 7 also makes 9. 5 and 6 equals 11. 7 and 3 does make 10. 8 and 2 is another number bond to 10. And 9 add 1 is the final one. Okay, to begin with, we're going to be making different number bonds to 10. We're going to use a 10 frame and a part whole model to help us. Because we're trying to make 10, we have got 10 counters in the 10 frame. So 10 is the whole number. And looking at the part whole model, in the whole there is 10 and then we've got the two parts here that add together to make the whole. So let's see if we can make our first number bond. Looking at the 10 frame, there are 10 counters. We've got 10 red counters, so the first part is 10. We've got zero yellow counters. So the second part is zero. 10 and zero equals 10. This is our first number bond to 10. Okay, now we're going to try and make another one. So I'm going to flip one of these red counters over and it's yellow on the other side. Now this time we've got nine red counters. One of the parts is nine. We have got one yellow counter. So the second part is one. Nine add one equals 10. The whole still stays the same because there are 10 counters all together. Okay, let's try the next one. Let's flip another red counter over. So now we've got eight red counters. So one of our parts is eight and we've got two yellow counters. Eight add two equals 10. We found another number bond to 10. Let's see if we can find one more. And let's flip another red counter over. Now we have got seven red counters. One of our parts is seven. And we've got three yellow counters. Seven add three equals 10. Now I could continue to do this one counter at a time to find lots and lots of different number bonds to 10. Okay, this isn't all of them. But what we are going to do in a minute is talk about the pattern that you can see to help us work out the rest. If you look carefully here, there is definitely a pattern starting to form. So these are the number bonds that we just found and we can use this to help us work out the rest of them. If we know that 10 at 0 equals 10, then we know that 0 at 10 is also 10. 
What we've done there is we've swapped these two numbers around to make a brand new number bond. Okay, with 9 add 1, if that equals 10, we know that 1 add 9 also equals 10. I want you to pause the video now and see if you can try and fill in the rest of these number bonds. Okay, now I'm just going to tell you the answers. So 0 add 10 equals 10. 1 add 9. 2 add 8. 3 add 7. 4 add 6. And 5 add 5. And you can see that this pattern is continuing on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to talking about making number bonds to 20. Because we're making number bonds to 20, this time we have got two 10 frames. We've got 10 counters here and another 10 there. So a whole of 20. Looking at the part whole model, we've now got 20 in the whole. And the two parts will add together to make a total of 20. So let's see if we can make our first number bond. We know that we have got 20 red counters. So one of our parts is 20. We've got zero yellow counters, so the other part is zero. 20 at zero equals 20. Okay, if I flip one of these red counters over and it's yellow on the other side, I can now make a new number bond. This time I have got 19 red counters. I've got 10 here. And I've got 9 there. So one part is 19 and the other part is 1 because I've got one yellow counter. 19 add 1 equals 20. Okay, let's do one more. So flip another red counter over. This time I've got 18 red counters. One part is 18 and the next part is 2. 18 add 2 equals 20. And I can carry on doing this until I get more number bonds. And once again, you can see this pattern starting to fall. And there's actually a relationship between number bonds to 10 and number bonds to 20. So if we have a look at this example here, we know that 9 add 1 equals 10. We know that 19 add 1 equals 20. If we know that 8 add 2 equals 10, then 18 add 2 must equal 20, and so on. So using what we know about the relationship between number bonds to 10 and 20, I would like you to try and solve some of these problems. Pause the video now, see if you can have a go. Okay, I'm now going to explain the answers. 9 add 1 equals 10. 19 add 1 equals 20. 10 equals 7 add 3. 
20 equals 7 add 13. 16 add 4 equals 20. 6 add 14, sorry, 6 add 4 equals 10. 0 add 10 equals 10. 0 add 20 equals 20. Well done if you managed to get all of those. Okay, so now we've got a little number bond challenge. You need to work out if these number bonds down here are number bonds to 10 or not. So if they are number bonds to 10, they belong in this box. If they are not, they go in this box. Okay, pause the video now and see if you can sort them into the correct boxes. Okay, I'm going to explain the answers now. So 2 add 8 equals 10, 4 add 5 equals 9, 5 add 5 equals 10, 4 add 8 equals 12, 3 add 6 is 9, 10 add 0 equals 10, 1 add 7 is 8, and 9 add 1 is 10. Okay, we've got exactly the same idea again here, but this time we're working with number bonds to 20. So have a look and work out the number bonds below and then see which box they belong in. Pause the video now and have a go. And now I'm going to explain the answers. So 13 add 7 is 20, 15 add 5 equals 20, 18 add 3 is 21, 17 add 2 is 19, 12 add 9 is, all, is 21, and 4 add 16 is 20. Okay, so this time we have been given a picture of a bar model. You have seen these before. The question says, what number bonds could this be? So here, this bar is worth 20. And these two bars here, at the value of these bars, add together to make 20. So we, could, we have a number in here, and a number in here. So you're thinking now about your number bonds to 20. Which number could go in each bar? Pause the video now and have a go. There is more than one answer, see what you can think of. Okay, so you could have put 8 in this bar and 12 in that one because 8 and 12 makes 20. You could have done 7 in this bar and 13 in this bar. Another answer you could have had is 6 and 14. Okay, now, because of the size of the bars, there are some answers that wouldn't have really made sense. If you'd have put 1 here and 19 here, you would need a much smaller bar on this side for that to make sense. Because the size of both of these bars suggests that the numbers are quite big. Okay. So for silver today, you are working out what the number bonds are here to match the 10 frames. And then you've got some number bonds to complete. You may need to use a number line to help you with this or some practical objects. 
And then for question three, you need to complete the bar models. So you're finding the missing number using what you know about your number ones to 20. With these bar models that look like they're upside down, don't worry, they still work exactly the same. This number at this number makes 20. And finally, for question four, you need to colour in all of the number bonds to 20. OK, for gold, you've got some missing number problems. And here there is a question about a part whole model. It says Jack represents a number bond to 20 in the part whole model. Can you spot his mistake? I just want to point out that his mistake isn't the fact that the part whole model is on its side. Okay, because you can have part whole models that look like this or even upside down sometimes. But that's not the mistake. The mistake is where he's put the numbers. So this will always be the whole and these two will always be the parts. Doesn't matter that it's on its side. Okay, and then for platinum, you need to fill in the missing numbers so that the rows and columns add to make 20. And then finally, there is a couple of reasoning questions here about your number bonds.